Hi there. It's Ashley here today from PMA, the Professional Massage Academy. We are an online massage therapy school with an in-class hands-on component. We have a mission to educate and knowledgeable, compassionate, and confident therapists who positively impact the community. And we pledge unwavering dedication to excellence in education, ethics, and professionalism in the massage therapy industry. Today we're going to talk about healthy lifestyle tips and things that you can do to help keep you feeling great in the profession of massage therapy. So there's a few things to think about when you are becoming a massage therapist and one is what can I do for my clients and then also how can I keep myself feeling good, feeling healthy, happy and um, taking care of myself so that I can be in this career for a long time. There's a few key things to think about when we think about a healthy lifestyle and we're going to go over four of those today. The first one that I'm going to talk about is proper hydration. Hydration is really important because it helps to make sure that our body functions appropriately and allows us to have all of our systems working together so that we function properly. It also can help to improve our energy throughout the day when we're properly hydrated. A lot of us are actually dehydrated and don't even know it. So the current recommendation is to drink half of your body weight in ounces of water every single day. So you can figure that out and then you can have the water bottle that you sip on while working with clients and between clients so that you're making sure you're reaching your goals. A lot of times people will drink more in the morning so that they're not up during the night trying to um, use the restroom. So drinking lots of water in the morning can be a helpful tip as well. Another thing that's important to take care of ourselves is proper nutrition. So nutrition is oftentimes thought of as um, eating healthy. Well, another way to think of it is getting proper nutrients to support your body and your brain. When we think about that, um, the idea of 80-20 is important. So 80% of the time eating healthy and 20% of the time allowing yourself to maybe have that snack or treat that might not be the healthiest option. And that's okay, moderation. Um, when we think about healthy eating, it's really important that um, we eat lots of healthy vegetables, especially leafy greens. Um, there's lots of diets that talk about the importance of leafy greens, but this can just be adding more of those to your plate when you eat. Lean protein is important for muscle building, and especially if you're working out, um, that can really be helpful. Or uh, It also keeps you full, so if you have a long day of working with clients, getting that lean protein can help to make sure that you're not getting too hungry in between. So nutrition, definitely important, and avoid the sugar. Sugar is not great for um, our nutrition and our body, so if you can go little to no added sugar, then that will definitely help too. The fourth, third thing we're talking about today is relaxation and de-stressing. It's really important for us to have things put in place in our daily life, daily habits, to de-stress. Some people like to do a walking meditation where you're getting out in nature or just outside walking without your cell phone and just being um, able to breathe and enjoy the things around you. Other people like to do more of a seated meditation or a mindfulness practice of sorts. There's lots of great information and resources out there these days for that. There's also things that you can do to de-stress that are simple like taking deep breaths between every client or throughout the day. So one that I like in terms of using your breath to de-stress is called four, seven, eight breathing. So that's breathing in for the count of four, holding for seven seconds, and breathing out for the count of eight. So you're breathing out longer exhales than you're breathing in. So for example, I'll take you through it. You're gonna breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Breathe out, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. And you can do that for, you know, however many rounds, but I would say four rounds of four, seven, eight breathing can really, really help to de-stress you and get back to what you were doing with a lower stress level. Last but not least on the list today is sleep. Making sure that you have the amount of sleep that you need, usually that seven to nine hours of sleep every night and quality sleep. So there's something called sleep um, habits that you can start to, and sleep hygiene is another word for it, that you can start to put into your routine, such as taking the lights down low, getting yourself um, away from your phone or TV, you know, an hour before bedtime, setting a routine of going to bed at a certain time and waking up at a certain time. You can, again, use those um, relaxation or de-stressing apps to help to um, guide you into a more restful sleep. And then, you know, getting actually some sunlight within the first um, few moments of waking, like going for a walk in the morning, can actually help to reset your circadian rhythm and allow you to get better sleep at night. So if you can get a morning walk in, that can actually help your sleep. All right, we hope that these were helpful tips and healthy lifestyle habits that you can start to talk to your clients about, but also make sure that you, as a massage therapist, have these installed into your routine as well. And we hope that you enjoyed this. Um, again, PMA is an online learning program that's affordable, convenient, and flexible to your current schedule. Visit our website to apply today or contact our admissions team to find out more details about the application process. You can stay up to date at what, about what's happening at PMA by joining our newsletter. Go to our website to sign up for that. And then for more information, please go to theprofessionalmassageacademy.com. Have a great day and thank you so much for tuning in. We hope that you are happy, healthy, and have a nice long massage therapy career. Bye.